Hello folks and welcome to Four Season Backpacking. Please subscribe for the latest outdoor adventure videos. Okay, so walking up uh, Whitnam Clumps, uh, the first one, the big one, the, the highest one. I'm not sure what's up there, it's just like a clump of trees. But there's another one with a back long barrow on, and another one with a fort. And I, there may be some other random one as well, I'm not sure. I've got a fully loaded bag. That was quite steep actually for this bag. As you can imagine, there's no point bringing a filter. There's no streams up here anyway. It's all farmland, I wouldn't use a filter around here. I wouldn't drink the water full stop from the streams. So I bought my own water. <laughs> Clearly lots of it as well. Well, it actually looks like a good place to camp. You can get in there, there's a gate here. So folks, down there is uh, the River Thames going along there. Not as big as it is when it gets to London, obviously, but it's navigable. Boats go along there. So here we got a toposcope, is it? Or topograph, I can't remember what you call them now. And uh, dedicated to someone who's uh, passed away. Some of it looks like it's fenced off, a lot of it isn't. There's a, I've just been through a gate to access this. Oh, there's plenty of places to camp up here. This is awesome. The only sad thing is, there's a car park not far away. It's a shame. Looks like there's some kind of earthwork here. Look, you can see it, it's almost like a could have been some kind of fort or camp here. Actually the view is a lot better than I thought it was going to be. I can see the fort from here, the clump fort, just over there. That looks pretty cool actually, there's more trees than I expected over there. I don't know where to camp, I mean I could camp over there. Yeah, unfortunately the car park's down there. There's the fort, you've got cows grazing in the field. I'm not actually camping in this field, the bit I'm camping is, is uh, fenced off. Got some calves here. You know, I've got to be careful when there are calves about. Mainly when you're with a dog. These cows seem to be pretty uh, placid, but they can get aggressive if you get near their calves. You'll be, you're alright, aren't you, mate? Yeah. He does. I thought he was going to wee on the sun. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, I just saw some uh, lightning in way in the distance over there, but there was no bang. But it didn't look that far away, but there was just no bang. I thought there was always a bang with lightning. Yeah, there was another lightning strike over there. I'm really considering actually taking the tent down and putting it lower down. Because it's supposed to be a storm over here later. It doesn't say lightning, but if there's a storm clouds over there and the storm's going to come over here later, I'm in the highest point in the area. I don't even think it's too wise, man. Might be wiser to. There is a forest down lower. Maybe to put the, the tent up down below. Okay, folks, walking through the highest of the clumps. Um, I decided to take my tent down. It's still early anyway, and uh, the lightning is getting closer. I'm starting to hear the thuds. And as I said, there's supposed to be a heavy rain here later, so it's possibly going to arrive here and this is the highest highest point in a long distance in the area and well, you can see where the storm cell is where all the lightning's coming from I just saw one just before I started filming that was definitely lightning weather over there and I'm pretty sure it's probably going to head I don't know if it's heading this way but it's supposed to be heavy rain now later didn't say anything about thunder though or lightning. It did earlier on, there was a forecast and it changes, but that's a little bit close for comfort for me being high up here. So, the uh, yeah, that storm cell is definitely getting closer to here. I made the right decision in taking the tent down from there. It's a shame, typical of the time I decided to come here, there's lightning and there's hardly been any lightning all year to be honest. And now, now I've come up to camp on top of a high point in the area, in an area, there's lightning. So, just heading towards the uh, fork clump. I might change the light setting actually on my video. Yeah, I've changed it from ICO 100 to ICO 400, which is the highest ICO you really can do to, for selling stock footage. I'll put a link in the description about selling stock footage actually. If you want to make money, don't think um, you'd make more money selling stock footage than um, doing YouTubing. I found anyway, unless you're a very successful YouTuber, of course. I am not joking, that storm is pretty damn big. There's a clump I was just camping in the highest point. It's getting very close now. So I, I, I've just changed the, uh, I can't remember what you call it now, but I've made it lighter anyway. <laughs> Not very professional, am I? And there is the fort again. As you can see, the ramparts are pretty impressive. I don't know whether they've been really dug for tourism or they've just lasted like that. Shit. <laughs> that I'm so glad I moved my tent from the clump. I mean, look at that. That's a lightning storm. If I haven't seen one before. That's prime target for a lightning strike. It amazes me how many people are out of walking their dog. Well, it's clearly going to be a pretty serious thunderstorm here any moment, or possibly. This is when people die from lightning strikes <laughs> and I'm being pretty stupid myself as well actually look how dark that is and this is on really light I've got the um, 400 ICO and I've got the EV I think it's the EV comp quite high up how scary is this So, yeah, as I said, unfortunately, it's, it's really dark at the moment. As I said, I've got the GoPro on quite a lot, high, high light, quite lightened up quite a lot. Um, this probably sounds quite windy, actually. Um, the wind's picking up all of a sudden. Um, there's definitely lightning. I've seen loads of lightning strikes. 
I, I'm, I'm guessing it must be quite far away because it sounds quite far away but it looks close as well at the same time if you know what I mean and I'm on high points of the hill and unbelievably there's still people walking up on the high points of the hill <laughs> this is why people get struck by lightning I'm, I'm, I'm gonna camp down here I don't really want to but I ain't gonna get any sleep if I camp up there in a storm and it starts, the lightning gets really, really bad, which you, well, it looks like it's going to, to be honest. So folks, as you can see, I'm just uploading the latest um, Scottish English Broader um, episode, episode, um, I think it's episode three. I'm just uploading from my tent um, while I'm at uh, Whitman Clumps. Um, as you can hear, it's still raining outside, there's still thunder. I'm using the uh, router on the tree outside my tent. The signal seems pretty good. It's a fairly good speed. Got I guess 4G. Morning, folks. I didn't bother filming taking the tent down. It was too dark in the uh, woods I was at. In the end, the lightning didn't quite reach the hill. It was in a more. I know it must have been a couple of miles away, but still, I'm on the camp right up to the hill and there's lightning. Um, it's only a short walk from where I was camping anyway. I was camped a bit further down the hill. Um, I can actually, this is the uh, the fort at the clumps. Um, but behind me you can actually see uh, the Ridgeway National Trail. This looks like a good place to sit. Wait for the uh, light to be right for droning. I wonder what that stone's all about. I don't think it's an ancient one. So over there, I think I showed you, already showed you, but um, that's Digcot over there and there's Digcot Power Station. The cooling towers have only just been knocked down, but apparently there was a load of people up here watching them being detonated. I should have come up here for that, but apparently it, was, it must have been hundreds of people up here that day. But I haven't got a zoom on my GoPro anyway, so it'd be pointless. Need like a video camera with a zoom. So I'm just walking along the top of the ramparts. You might be able to see Swindon Power Station over there. There's a lot of smoke coming from it, or steam, or whatever it is. Well, they took the cooling towers down. So I wonder what that steam is in there. Is it still a power station? What type of power station is it? As you see, the ramparts are so impressive on uh, this fort at the uh, Whitnam Clumps. Just walking at the bottom, well, not the very bottom of the fort, but on the sort of like the ditch. And the quite beautiful view of the power station over there. So, tell you what, this is the first, the first time since summer, the end of summer, and now in autumn, that my hands have been cold in the morning doing the droning. And I hate that. Although the light, the light is brilliant for droning this time of year in the mornings. 
it lasts a bit longer, but um, I just hate the fact that your hands get really numb. I don't really like wearing gloves. I've got the uh, camera back on ICO 100. And it's because it's, it's, well, it's well light enough now. Gives it a less grainy, grainy video, hopefully. And back to the main, the highest clump, which is not the fault. Uh, this is the one I was going to camp in last night, but I ended up taking my tent down because of the uh, thunderstorm. Yeah, the sky was just so black, there was loads of lightning. But it was probably a few miles away, but this is the highest point for miles around. So it would have been a bit irresponsible camping here. <laughs> the highest point when there's quite a big uh, lightning storm. Still, I camped, it wasn't too far away. It wasn't uh, ideal, but then to be honest, didn't really get a view in there either anyway. Oh, it's beautiful up here today. I could definitely see why people come up here to uh, watch the cooling towers be uh, uh, demolished. It's an absolutely perfect view. If you had a clear day and a good lens, you get some really good footage of that. The footage I've seen um, is not, I don't think it was that clear a day. Uh, it actually was probably because it was early in the morning and the light probably um, wasn't too 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 early in the morning for the uh, to have it on the low ISO. Okay, well I'm walking back to the train station now. Um, you might be able to see the River Thames down there, I'm not sure how, if it's picking it up. Um, I believe that's a little Whitnam at the bottom of this uh, Whitnam clump. It's actually a really beautiful view today. There's no wind. So, still walking back to the train station, folks. It's a beautiful day, very different from yesterday, but I got some great pictures of the storm. My only regret is I wish um, I could have got the drone, because the drone was at the bottom of the bag. I, could, I would have got some great drone footage of the storm before the rain and the wind come, uh, maybe even picked up some lightning. Um, it would have been really good, but the drone was right at the bottom of the bag and the rain was going to come pretty soon. It was going to be heavy and I had to find somewhere to camp. So it was like, get super wet or take some drone footage or even get caught up right in the lightning and on top of the hill. So yeah, kind of wish I've got some drone footage really of that, but I've got some photos though and uh, some uh, handheld video. I could have actually walked through the uh, forest, but this is the way I walked up. Um, can't really, there's no sort of routes on my GPS for it, but I'm pretty sure there's a path that goes straight up here through the forest. But um, yeah, I'm just going to take this route. Looks like a little house made out of. Uh, trees or bush. I don't know if it's a traditional thing or just some kind of arty sort of installation out of... It's pretty cool.